everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and we got some cool stuff to talk about today. We're going to be focusing in on Pikmin 4, and in particular, Mario Wonder, Super Mario Wonder, because it was pretty amazing, just like Jack Black's surprise unannounced performance of the Peaches song at the uh, Game Awards uh, 10 year celebration concert they had last night. Pretty cool they had him come on to do that because we thought Nintendo wasn't gonna be involved at all in the concert. There was no pre-announcement of it. And that was just really, really neat for the crowd and a nice little surprise. And now, yes, Peaches is stuck in my head for yet another generation. But if you're going to go ahead and enjoy this video, I'd appreciate you to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as we're on our road to trying to get to 150,000 subscribers here in 2023. I will note, though, that, hey, we actually kind of want to hit 133 subscribers soon, if possible, because then we can match 133 years of Nintendo. <laughs> Let's first dive into this really interesting Mario story. So we got the file size today, and oftentimes to me, I don't find the file size of games to really be that important, right? It, it doesn't really represent much unless we're talking about potentially using bigger size cartridges and some game coming in at a number that just doesn't feel right. Well, Super Mario Wonder is a side-scrolling Mario game. You figure it would be a pretty small size. To give you an example, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which included, you know, all the content together in one, yeah, and some extra stuff, that only came in at 2.5 gigabytes. So you would kind of figure that this might be around that 2.53 gigabyte range. However, it actually chimes in at 4.5 gigabytes. Now this is a notable jump up from New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which sure, was originally made as a Wii U game, but it's still using 1080p assets. So it's quite fascinating to see that this game's at four and a half gigabytes because Super Mario Odyssey, the 3D, really expansive, 25, 26 million selling you know, Mario game back in 2017, is at 5.7 gigabytes so it's only a little over a gigabyte less than the much more complex 3d counterpart now one reason that you could see that this game is clearly deserving of the larger size compared to new super mario bros u deluxe is that the expressiveness of the game there's so much more animation going on in this game so much more character going on in this game and yes voice acting which is not something that typically exists out of a typ typical like wahoo or whatever we have actual lines being said and it's not just mario so this really brings it full circle as one of these situations where the game is clearly needing a slightly bigger size it's obviously going to fit on an eight gigabyte cartridge just fine but it, it's really nice at least to see that this game is probably going to be quite expansive We're going to be pretty big i hope it has at least as many stages as new super mario bros u deluxe did including the bonus stages if not more i don't really know how this is going to work we, we've seen a smidge of how the overworld works when you're going between uh levels but I, look i'm just really excited for super mario bros wonder to me it's a one-of-a-kind experience and i can't wait and i do think that nintendo is sort of setting up the future of so, uh, side scrolling Mario for a while. They're going to be kind of in this style, which is more similar to the Mario movie. Makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know, but the first one in a new series always seems really, really cool. Or maybe this won't be a series. Maybe it's a one off and they're just going to go super unique every single time. I know a lot of people like when Nintendo does just that. Now we gotta spend some time talking about Pikmin 4 because Pikmin 4 deserves attention. And while it releases in July, there was a preview event where people got to play some of the game and previews have been dropping all over the place. And let's just say they are extremely glowing. In fact, having gone through over four dozen different previews from across the world, I can't find a single preview that mentions anything negative now does this mean it's a perfect video game of course not these are curated 
preview demo events. But man, the game apparently is utterly fantastic. They didn't get to spend a ton of time with it. Each play session was about an hour, but they did get to experience a lot of things that confirm aspects of the game that many people wanted. As an example, if you're a massive fan of the dungeon style progression that we saw in games like Pikmin 2, wasn't present in Pikmin 1 or 3, but was in Pikmin 2, they have brought that back in this game. And pretty much nobody ever really got to experience the night mode. They couldn't get far enough into the game to get into the night mode to see what that adds to it, because obviously the night mode with the glow Pikmin is entirely new here. So what we can say, oh, here's the dungeon system from 2. Here's some progression systems from 3. Here's some mini games from 3 as well. Where is the the, the new, well, hey, the glow Pikmin in the night mode, they couldn't really play it long enough to get there. Now, the doggo in the game is really neat because he can actually be upgraded and has progression as you go. And people know it is sort of an organic way that they handle that upgrade system, which makes sense. It's just like when you have an actual dog in real life. I've got one myself. And uh, you train, and you, the dog just learns new tricks and new things along the way. And that's the way that this dog works as well. So I'm really, really happy to see that Pikmin 4 is shaping up to be utterly fantastic. The biggest thing for many people is, will there be enough content? How long is the game going to be? I, if I had to venture, it's probably anywhere from 15 to 20 hours, which to me is probably the per perfect length for Pikmin. If they somehow made this a 30-hour experience, I mean, yeah, I, I could probably dig it because Pikmin is such a unique franchise, and I can't really think of any other video game out there, whether even, even throwing indie titles in, that really deliver the sort of experience that Pikmin 4 brings to all of us and the smiles we get on our faces. So I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there that I'm really excited for Pikmin 4. And anytime we have an excuse to talk about it, I want to talk about it. Yeah, Super Mario Wonders, the big one coming up. Super Mario RPG. Yes, we're going to focus on those games and talk about the news as they come. But when it comes to Pikmin 4, I threw it in this video specifically because I want Pikmin 4 to get more attention. You guys are awesome and amazing. I want to thank you so much for being here. You guys make my dreams come true, and I'll catch you in that next video.